find a seat. My feet were aching, my back was sore, and I felt like I was going to pass out. That's when I saw her, Karen, and she was sitting in the only empty seat on the bus. Here's how it all went down. I was on my way home from my doctor's appointment, feeling tired and a little dizzy from the heat outside. The bus was crowded and I was having trouble finding a seat. I spotted an empty one near the front and made my way towards it, but a woman was already sitting there. She was older, with short hair, and didn't look like she was in a hurry to give up her spot. I approached her and politely asked if I could sit, explaining that I was pregnant and needed to rest, but she just looked at me and sneered, saying that I was faking it and that I didn't need to sit down. I couldn't believe it. I was tired, hot, and in pain, and this woman was refusing to give up her seat for me. I tried to reason with her, but she wouldn't budge. It was a frustrating and embarrassing situation, and I didn't know what to do next. I continued to plead with her, explaining that I was indeed pregnant and needed to sit down. But Karen just laughed and said that I was probably just trying to get attention. I was getting more and more frustrated by the minute, and I could feel my blood boiling. You think this is funny? I said. I'm pregnant, and I'm tired, and I need to sit down. Why won't you just let me have this seat? Karen just rolled her eyes and said that she had had a long day too, and that she deserved to sit down just as much as I did. I couldn't believe how entitled she was being. I tried to explain to her that being pregnant was hard work and that I needed to rest, but she wasn't having any of it. Why don't you just stand like everyone else, she said. I don't see why I should have to give up my seat just because you're pregnant. I was getting more and more upset by the minute. I couldn't believe that this woman was being so heartless. I tried to reason with her, but she just kept coming up with excuses. You're young, you can stand, she said. I'm old, I need to sit. I was about to lose my temper when the bus hit a pothole, causing me to stumble. Karen just laughed and said that I was probably just drunk. That's it, I said. I'm not going to put up with this anymore. You need to give me your seat right now. Karen just laughed and said that I was being ridiculous, but I wasn't going to back down. I needed that seat, and I wasn't going to let her bully me into giving up. At this point, I was furious. I couldn't believe that Karen was still refusing to give up her seat. My feet were aching, my back was sore, and I felt like I was going to pass out. I took a deep breath and tried to stay calm, but it was getting harder and harder. You don't understand, I said. I'm pregnant, and I need to sit down. It's not a luxury, it's a necessity. Karen just scoffed and looked away. I don't care what you need, she said. I'm not giving up my seat. I felt my face turning red with anger. You're being ridiculous, I said. I can't believe that you're so selfish that you won't even consider giving up your seat for a pregnant woman. Karen just shrugged and looked out the window. It's not my problem, she said. You should have thought about that before you got pregnant. That was it. I had had enough. I reached over and grabbed Karen's arm, trying to pull her out of the seat. You're going to give me that seat, I said, whether you like it or not. Karen let out a scream and started flailing her arms. Get off me, she yelled. What do you think you're doing? I held on tight and kept pulling. I'm taking this seat, I said, and you're not going to stop me. We struggled back and forth for a few seconds, but I was determined to win. I could feel the adrenaline pumping through my veins, and I knew that I had the strength to do this. Finally, Karen gave in and stood up, glaring at me the whole time. I hope you're happy, she said. You've ruined my day. Wow, what an entitled Karen. I she had it was one entitled Karen. <laughs> Not be nice enough to give up a seat for a pregnant lady? That's just stupid. I would have done that. I would have been the good guy. Would have been the good guy and give give up a seat. But yeah, that was just plain stupid.